Once again, we're faced with a question of the day that asks us to remove something in order to make a relationship a function. Take a look at this wording here. It says, which point could be removed to make the following relationship a function? And students tell me all the time, well, Kate, okay, there's no points here. This is just a bunch of numbers. But this is actually a set of points. You see these curly brackets here? This tells me it's a set. A set in math is like a bag full of something. And this is a point. This right here in parentheses, two numbers separated by a comma in parentheses, is how we talk about a point. This is the point five three. So this particular set contains one, two, three, four, five, six points. And um, remember that when you look at a point, the first number is the x value, or the input value, and the second number is the y value, or the output value. Now, this problem says which point could be removed to make the relationship a function. Now, you, in order to understand this problem, you have to understand the definition of a function. A function is a relationship in which each input value, each x, is mapped to one and only one output value, one y. Any x value has only one y. Now, this particular relationship right now is not a function because I see the same x mapped to more than one y right here. In this point, I have a negative 1 as an x mapped to a 6y, um, an input of negative 1 mapped to an output of uh, 6. And here, though, I see the same exact input value, the same exact x, mapped to a different y. This is not a faithful function. I have the same x seeing more than one y. That just cannot be in a function. So if I were going to want to make this into a function, I would need to remove at least one of these points. So there's two possible answers to this question. You could answer that you would remove the point negative 1, 6, or you could answer that you would remove the point negative one, zero. And you might say, well, Kate, which one's the right answer? Well, it actually doesn't matter. You could answer either one of these. If it was a um, fill in the blank, it wouldn't matter. Do make sure, though, that you type these parentheses around your two numbers, or it's not a point. It's just a list of numbers without those parentheses. Uh, but the likelihood is this would be a multiple choice question, and one, only one of those answers would be in the multiple choice.